As all IDP camps in Waiduguri close officially, some displaced persons are worried about where they will live as they return to their liberated communities. This comes as the state governments began the settlement of over 60,000 IDPs to their local governments. Trust TV spoke to some displaced persons on the relocation exercise. The report. At the beginning of the IDP camp closure in Meduguri, six camps were shut down last year with thousands resettled back to their communities. The final phase of the exercise on Thursday witnessed additional four camps which include Dalori 1 and 2, Gubio and Muna Garage camps. Ali Bukar is among over 11,000 displaced persons living for Konduga local government area. He says where to live with his family when he reaches his hometown is his problem. He plans to engage in farming but seeks for support. I'm happy going back to my village, but we have nowhere to stay and we need food too. If the government can provide these things, it will really help. Yes, I'm willing to go back home. I'm not afraid because the place is safe now. The only thing is that there is no place to live there, no food, no access to water, and our husbands don't have any handwork to do. The state government said it's implementing the world standard rules which gives the free will for displaced persons to choose where to live. We have identified many of them who are willing to go back to the ancestral homes. There are a few of them who decided to stay here in Medugri. But I think those who decided to go homes are much more higher than those who decided to stay. What is the level of readiness of those communities that they are going to? Well, before we start even embarking on the return process, we make sure that we provide what is called the shelter, that is the housing for them to go and stay. And then they, well, they, they sold what we call checklist, which involve all the facilities needed for us to complete this process of resettlement, water facilities, health care facilities, educational facilities, all what is needed is already on ground for them to go and start their places of life. Despite the expected challenges to pick up life, Ali Bukar and other displaced persons are hopeful that the return of peace in their once destroyed communities will be buried with the new life to fulfill for the future.